Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. It is now July 27th. Lisa Lydia Scott here. We're going to jump in our, into our news and weather headlines in a minute, but first I want to remind you that we're live every weekday morning on Facebook. We make this into a podcast once we're done, so you can listen to it anytime. Just go to inform.com slash podcast. Look for the Inform Minute. You can also find us on our Inform YouTube channel. And of course, we're together every weekday morning yeah. live. It was nice to have Lydia live on air with yeah. us this morning back Welcome after back, an Lydia. extended vacation Thanks, guys so well yeah. deserved so it was nice it was nice to get away mm -hmm. this i'd be nowhere else though i'd rather be nowhere else than right here right <laughs> she now. walked in this morning she's like yeah i'm just so happy I'm to be here so happy to be here i am happy to be yeah. here and i do love my job but coming back from vacation is like yeah. that alarm clock this morning it's i was hard to like get back into the routine oh my goodness gracious yeah so it's fun to be back mm -hmm. Um, it was hot yesterday. Yes, it was. I don't think that's a strong enough word, but <laughs> I don't have appropriate words for how hot it was yesterday. Man, oh man. So it, we topped off at 98 okay. officially here in Fargo. Dew points were in the 70s though, which is what I call instant sweat. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. like the really sticky kind of dew yeah. point. And so when you bring those two things together, it felt anywhere from 100 to 110 Oof. yesterday wow. afternoon. Yeah, that's stifling. That makes sense. I was only out for a little bit, but as soon as you, you oh, you Literally felt yes. it. Literally, the second you walk out the door, you're like, oh. Yes, I walked from the Hornbacher's door to the vehicle across the parking lot, and that pavement was just oh, I boiling. Yeah. I could just feel, I don't do well in heat either. Oh, we man. don't get along. <laughs> and I was like, I have to get in the pickup right now. I am dying, I'm so. Melting. <laughs> Anyways, today's gonna be a little less hot. It's still gonna be a warm one though. I don't wanna downplay today's yeah. heat. Temperature near 90 is still a little bit muggy this morning, but it's moving in the right direction. Okay. So we're losing about 10 degrees each day. We were close to 100 yesterday, close to 90 today, close to 80 tomorrow. All right. um, 70s then for the weekend. We'll watch out for maybe a spotty shower or storm today, maybe a rumble of thunder, nothing too feisty expected. Uh, better chance for showers tomorrow. Tomorrow, kind of a grayer day. Um, cloudy, 79 is what we're forecasting. So again, close to 80 and a few off and on showers. Not everywhere is gonna get that rain, but you do have the chance to see a little bit of rain tomorrow. Um, then Saturday looks like a beautiful day. I've got sunshine and 77, low humidity, light wind. Looks like a nice day to be on the lake. So yeah. not a bad day. Um, another chance of thunderstorms on Sunday and then 80s for all of next week. All right. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. Just a little more comfortable summer yeah, heat instead sure. of the oppressive stuff we felt <laughs> yesterday. And I mean, the triple digits is one thing, but that humidity we had yesterday mm -hmm. was a whole other ballgame. Yeah, game, that's brutal. So, yeah. Okay. I think that covers everything. Sounds yeah, good. trying to We're get back to into the back. rhythm yes. of. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. How do I talk about the weather again? <laughs> you didn't lose it. You're yeah, natural. Thanks, all right. guys. Thank you, Lydia. All right, well, right now we're tracking the recovery of the two officers that were seriously hurt in that police shooting uh, in Fargo. We do know they're still in the hospital, mm -hmm. they're making progress, but this is big. For the first time since the shooting, we have now heard from Officer Andrew Dotis and Tyler Haas. They were able to share their thoughts and feelings at Jake Walling's Celebration of a Life event that was held in Fargo at Shields Arena yesterday. Of course, the two men couldn't be there in person. Uh, because of their injuries and yeah. we know they're still in the hospital but they did talk in a in a recorded video message they praised officer Walleen who gave his life to protect his community um, if you want to listen to it we also heard from officer Robinson as well yeah. uh, the entire uh, celebration of life service is posted on inform.com along with many of the stories that our whole team has been covering inform team yeah. and at WDAY as well um, so Really some incredible, incredible stuff there. Yeah, very emotional. Um, of course, we'll keep you updated on that recovery process for those two officers, any updates on that investigation, which is still ongoing. Right. We also still, we Absolutely. heard from uh, uh, Jake Walling's dad, uh, Jeff, at that uh, ceremony as well. Very emotional, as you can imagine. Um, it was a crowd of thousands of people packed into the arena. Uh, he gave us a, kind of a look into his son's decision to join the military and law enforcement. He talked about his son's values. He kind of said, you know, he wasn't in, in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's what he, he signed up for that Hearing kind of thing. Him and say he, that he is, wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else. Right. So to hear that was kind of you know tough to hear, but also gave you kind of a warm feeling inside to know what they're uh, saying. So yeah, absolutely. Very Story's not over, day. but uh, yeah. And now today, and you know, continuing to support our local law enforcement, everyone affected by this tragedy, mm -hmm. you can help show your support for law enforcement by going out to Sweet Shots today. Mm -hmm. They're having an event, they're calling it Swing for Support. 
50% uh, of all the proceeds from gameplay today will be donated to the Leadership Care Fund, which we know that money goes to members of the Fargo Police Department through medical emergencies and life-changing events. Um, of course, very important right now, especially as our whole community is, is trying to heal. So. Yeah. Uh, not the only fundraiser going on today the, uh, um, at the uh, U U.S. Axe in Fargo, I should say. They're hosting their second annual Far Throw Axe Throwing Tournament. Uh, and some of those proceeds for that event are going to be going to the victims of that Fargo shooting. Uh, that event is starting today, goes through the weekend. It's going to be held at U.S. Axe Throwing and Fargo Billiards and Gastro Pub. Uh, it's going to feature professional axe throwers as well as some different games for anyone in the community. Also, members from the police department will be there. There's going to be a silent auction to make up some funds and you know, kind of have this charitable um, fundraiser to help out the victims affected by the shooting. Now, here's the unique connection to the axe throwing is that Carly Coswick, who was uh, one of the victims of the shooting, she was the one who got in the car accident that the officers were originally responding to when the gunman opened fire, hit her multiple times in this whole thing. She was seriously hurt, hospitalized. Now she's um, on her way to recovery, but she actually was on her way to work at US Axe when she got into that accident. So that's the connection there with that. Yeah, uh, here's a, another story that we're tracking for you. Today, a woman who's accused of slapping a two month old baby in the face is expected to be in court this morning. 18 year old Macy Belcourt is facing child abuse and drug charges. Prosecutors say Belcourt was mad at the child's father for spending time with other women. The man reported to police and I believe shared video messages that he says Belcourt sent to him that actually show her slapping the child. So we'll continue tracking that and have an update for you. Yep. All right, the Detroit Lake City Council has voted to ban marijuana in public spaces. This is the drug becomes legal in the state of Minnesota in just a few days on August 1st. Under the new ordinance, cannabis can only be used at business or events that are licensed for on-site consumption. It's similar to how policies for alcohol consumption work. Uh, permits will be granted to places like restaurants, bars, beer gardens, and then apartment owners who own property as well. They'll be able to decide and regulate for themselves what they will allow on their properties. Okay, we have a pretty big update for you here on a pretty big construction project. If you drive at all in Moorhead, Main Avenue and 8th Street, that intersection, there's going to be some traffic shifts there. Of course, that's going to affect so, so many of us. Mm -hmm. One lane will be open in each direction going east and west. That's so equipment can be moved to the area. And then both north and southbound left lanes of 8th Street will be closed. So just be aware, it's going to be big time slowdowns in that area. And yeah. of course, so many people drive through that area will be... The traffic will be reverted back, but not until August 4th, so a couple weeks there. I love all the road construction, huh? Oh my goodness, right? It's not over yet. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, good news is it is Miracle Treat Day, so for every blizzard sold on this day at participating Dairy Queens, at least $1 will be donated to um, local children's hospital. That's Ch Children's Miracle Network, Sanford Children's here locally. Uh, Bethany was at the historic Moorhead Dairy Queen this morning talking all about it. She got to try her hand at making some blizzards and she brought us some back here to the studio. So Breakfast we've been champions eating there. ice cream this morning. Strawberry cheesecake was this one. I like strawberry cheesecake. Some people don't like it as much, but they also had an Oreo one. And so it's fun to just be able to have some ice cream yeah, and you can support eat a good it cause. as much as you want today. You can eat it for <laughs> breakfast, you can eat it for lunch because you're helping out a great yeah, cause. At least absolutely. a dollar from each blizzard, but the Moorhead DQ specifically, all of the proceeds from yeah. the blizzards will go to the Children's Which Miracle Network today. So get out there, have a blizzard. It's gonna be hot again, so eat it quick so it doesn't all melt. I love blizzards. How about this story? I'm gonna, do you love Subway? How much do you I love like Subway? Subway? I don't love Subway, I like Subway. I like the coupons they send. Well, Subway is doing a new promotion right now. Um, they will give away free sandwiches for life to someone mm -hmm. but there's a catch there's always a catch oh yeah of course the catch is you have to change your first name to subway <laughs> that's ridiculous legally yeah apparently so it's a contest it's happening next month uh the company will pay the winners legal fees to assume uh the quote new I iconic identity yeah so we kind of joked subway bedo it kind of works kind of works i think it's better than subway ingen just that doesn't roll not, not so much but i don't know if it's worth it but anyway <laughs> There you go. The contest somebody, starts somebody will do it. August 1st. Someone's, I bet they're going to have lots of people willing to do it. Oh, for sure. sure. All right. Uh, Hot Mike, you can watch it today from 9 to 11 on WDIY Extra and Inform.com. Logan Campbell is actually filling in this week for Dom. You can join her as UND football head coach. Uh, Bubba Schweigert is coming to talk about his 2023 team. And then the NDSU quarterbacks coach, Lewis Walker, is also going to be joining the show to give a preview of that position group heading into the season. So don't want to miss that. Join Logan this morning on Hot Mike. 
And remember, now is a great time to get your Inform.com subscription. All of these stories, local news, weather, sports, all in one spot. Right now, 99 cents a month for your first three months and all access passed to Inforum.com. Check yeah, it out. That's right. And we got you covered the rest of the day with updates on local news, weather, and all sorts of other stuff going on. Next newscast is at 11 o'clock, then this afternoon, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And we'll be back tomorrow morning for finally Friday first news, 5 to 7 in the morning. Join us then. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.